question. Um, I would say the occasion, like when to do the press conference is what I feel is the most difficult, but Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Sorry, I'm thinking. Um. I think we can move on to the next question, Naomi. Do you want to move on to the next question? Um, no, I'm actually very interested in that, like, point of view. So if you could repeat that, that'd be awesome. Uh, the question was that you're not especially fond of, uh, of dealing with the media, especially in this format. You have suggested there are better ways to do it, that, that we'd like to try to explore that. Uh, my, my question, I guess, was you also have outside interests beyond tennis that, that are served by having uh, the, the platform that the media presents to you. My, uh, my question is, how, how are you able, how do you think you might be able to best balance the two? Um, I mean, for me, I feel like this is something that I can't, I can't really speak for everybody. I can only speak for myself. But ever since I was younger, I've had a lot of media interest on me. And I think it's because of my background as well as, you know, how I play. Um, because in the first place, I'm a tennis player. That's why a lot of people are interested in me. So I would say in that regards, I'm quite different to a lot of people. And I can't really help that there are some things that I tweet or some things that I say that um, kind of create a lot of news articles or things like that. And I know that it's because I've won a couple grand slams um, and I've gotten to do a lot of press conferences that these things happen. Um, but I would also say like, I, I'm not really sure how to balance it to, like I'm figuring it out at the same time as you are, I would say.